Paramount Plus, more like Paramount Pythagoras Theory. <laughs> So I first found out about Paramount Plus ages ago when they first teased the Halo TV series. And for those of you who don't know, Halo was a video game. So when I heard they were making a series out of it, I was like, okay, this is going to be shit. And the internet thought it was shit. But at the same time, the internet also thinks that Morbius is a good movie, so you can't trust anyone these days. And yeah, that's how I found out about it. That and um, the iCarly remake, which I'll get to in a bit. Set in the center of the seat. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Set in the center of the seat. Okay. Set in the center of the seat. Okay. Set in the center of the seat. The Halo TV series is sick. Until the second episode where it just gets really dead. I don't know, like, the drama in it just gets really boring and I stop caring. So I guess that's why everyone thinks it's shit. I mean, I think it's still watchable, but I don't know, it's just not really that good. Hi Carly, hi Carly. I don't care if you look like Michael Jackson. I've seen the first two episodes and laughed, like, four times. So, you know, there's that. Ariana Grande! Camp Cool is a Spongebob for fetuses. There's really not much to say. Um... If you have a fetus, then they'll probably like the show, but for anyone over one month old, they probably wouldn't like it. So, yeah, I don't know why this exists. Okay, so for the Rugrats reboot, I'm really torn on. On one hand, it feels like a normal Rugrats episode. Like, it's got the music, the backgrounds look really nice. You have most of the original voice actors in it. On the second half, the characters look... Hey, your baby, she saw me, I know that she saw me. Hey, room, I ain't talking about car. Hey, the room, my brain's got my catchy, I'm always not feeling fresh. Okay. okay, so movie-wise, the only one I actually cared for was the Beavis and Butthead special. Uh, sir, maybe you didn't know, but we have white privilege. And it's actually just amazing. I love this special so much. It's the best thing on Paramount+. Plus. <laughs> Are you shitting me? My money come from the back end. I do not care who you are, I'm a Texan. No, I don't know who you are, I won't tap it. I had to wake up because I was napping. See, when they be like my next honey maxing. I got to fire on me just like a Jackson. I had to wear my mother like a napkin. I got to shut the end So, uh, uh, okay, what do you recommend? Let's see what do you recommend. So, uh, uh, so we've got Dexter. All right, got Dexter. Um, okay, that's that. Okay, seriously funny, see the seriously funny shows. Okay, so they got South Park, but that's not anything to be honest. They got iCarly, no, that's really Amy Shima, okay, they got Amy Shima. Okay, British True Crime. That is actually documentaries, see the documentaries. The, uh, 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 okay, reality hits, I don't, I don't, I don't care about reality TV. The okay, sci-fi is all, okay, okay it's, it's all just Star Trek. Kids' favourite is actually alright, because it's got like a bunch of Nickelodeon shows. Well, they've got the reboots of Spongebob and Rugrats, but they've also got the OG shows as well, which is really nice. It's got Avatar, that's cool. Like Dora and stuff. So, yeah, that's decent. For kids, I think Paramount Plus is alright. And then they got Milkshake and... Yeah, just a bunch of like British shows. So, that's fun. Okay, so now let's look at their movies that they have. So I'll get sort them by, um... Kaigori and score in action. Let's see, we've got an action. So, I mean, it's got Mission Impossible. Forget about that. Don't know if this one's good or not, but yeah, you got that. You got Transformers if you hate yourself. Okay, that's that. Children and the Family. Let's see Children and the Family movies. Adam's Family if you care about that. Big Time Rush. You got Clifford, Charlotte's Web. Got the Hey Arnold stuff again, stuff from Nickelodeon. You got Paw Patrol, cause why? You got the SpongeBob movie. Yeah, I say for children movies, it's just decent. It's like a good handful of children shows I would watch. Okay, comedy, let's see. Got Aeroplane, I think those movies are good. Got Beavis and Butter, as I said. Beavis and Butter movies are amazing. Got The Dictator. They go... Jackass. Got Mean Girls. They got The Terrible South Park Specials I was talking about. Look at the crime movies. Um... Oh wow, this is really dead. You got, you got, got Jackie Brown, No Country for Old Men, and Book Fiction. That's nice. That's nice. Um, don't care about documentaries. Got the drama movies. Okay, got American Beauty, which I would watch, but got a Castaway. Got Greece. You know, Greece, Greek, Greece. Got the kids Jackie Brown again. Wow, this is really dead. Oh my god. Okay, horror movies. All right. So what I like about them is that they have mostly, mostly all the, all the good um. Are the 13 movies. I like um the fourth one and the sixth one. And they got Scream as well, which is really nice. Got the first three Scream movies. But then that, the 
horror movies are pretty dead. I don't care about musicals or rom coms. Sci fi is going to be Star Trek, isn't it? But wow, it's even dead. Hey, yeah, and it's a Star Trek. All right, cool. Finally got Thriller. Um. Oh. Um. Not even. Okay, no control man again. Mission Impossible again. Um. Scream again. Um. Wow. Wow, that was really dead. Jesus Christ. <laughs>